In this video, we're going to talk about how to allocate the cost of multiple support departments by using the reciprocal method. So let's say that we have an adventure company with two operating divisions. And let's say that we do mountaineering guiding and we do kayak trip guiding. And so these are our two operating divisions here, but we have two support divisions, an HR department and an administrative staff department with like an office manager and so forth. So we want to allocate the costs of these support departments to the operating divisions, but we also recognize that, hey, the HR department provides some support to the admin people, and the admin people provide some support to HR. So we need to allocate some of the costs between the support departments, right? Not just to the operating divisions. And the reciprocal method is a way that we can allocate costs of admin to HR and costs of HR to admin, and then also allocate to our two operating divisions. So let's say that we have 30,000 in costs for HR and we have 40,000 in costs for the administrative staff department. Now, you could set up an equation with linear algebra to figure out how we're going to allocate the costs using the reciprocal method. But in this video, I want to show you the long way so you understand the concept. So let's say that we have a total of 20,000 hours that, are, that the HR department provides, right? So it provides 20,000 hours of service, okay? And now the mountaineering department uses 12,000 of those hours. Kayaking uses 4,000. And then the admin staff, they use 4,000, right? That's the support department over here. So now we're trying to allocate these, these $30,000 in costs from HR. So what we can do is say, okay, for the mountaineering department, I just abbreviated it as M, we're going to allocate 12 out of 20, which is 20,000 hours out of the total, or excuse me, 12,000 hours out of the total 20,000 provided by HR. So 12 out of 20 times 30,000 in total costs of HR is going to be 18,000 is going to get allocated to the mountaineering division. Kayaking division is going to get 6,000 based on 4 20ths of the total cost. And then the admin staff is going to get 4 20ths, right? 4,000 out of 20,000 hours times the 30,000 is going to get 6,000. So this 6,000 is going to come over here, right? So we're going to add 6,000, and that means we're now at 46,000 for the admin staff, right? Now, here's the key of the reciprocal method. Now we're going to go and we're going to allocate the cost of the admin staff department, right? But remember, admin staff also provides services to HR. So we're going to allocate some back to HR, right? So HR just went to zero, right, from 30000 to zero because we just allocated the whole 30000 in costs. But now we're going to allocate some back. And how much? Well, we're going to take this 46000 right? And then now there's 40000 total hours that the admin staff provides. And mountaineering is 15,000 out of the 40. So we're going to go 15 divided by 40 times the 46,000 in costs. It's going to be 17,250 allocated to mountaineering. The same amount will be allocated to the kayaking division because they also provide or get 15,000 hours of service out of the 40,000. Now, with the HR department, who we just brought to zero, right? And so because we allocate all 30,000 our costs, now it's going to go from zero to 11,500. Why? Because we're recognizing that, hey, admin staff, 11,500, or 10 out of 40 times 46,000, that 11,500 is going to go toward HR. We're allocating back to HR. So now HR goes from zero to 11,500. So now, because HR has 11,500, we have to allocate that, right? And so we do the same formula as we have here, only we have now Mountaineering is going to get 12 20ths of 11,500. This is that 11,500. This is the amount right here that just got allocated back. It just got allocated back to HR, right? And now admin staff is at zero because we just allocated that 46,000. So now it's at zero, but now we allocate it back to HR. So HR is 11,500. So now we do our same formula. I won't go through the entire thing here. You can see the numbers are similar, or the formula is the same. But now we multiply and we ultimately have, with the admin staff, 4 20ths times 11,500 as we're allocating 
this cost, now we have 2300 that is going to go, 2300 that's going to go, and now the admin staff, we brought it from 46 down to zero, right? But now we just have the we twenty three hundred gets allocated back to admin staff. So it's like we're going back and forth, but the numbers are getting smaller, right? Because each time we're allocating some to mountaineering and to some to kayaking, right? So now of that twenty three hundred that just got allocated back to the admin staff, we're gonna do fifteen fortieth of each for mountaineering and then kayaking the same. The HR department is gonna get ten fortieths. Right, 10 divided by 40 times the 2300 is going to be 575. Now you're probably figuring out what the pattern is now by now. So now that 575, now we need, and now we just allocated 575 back to HR. Now we need to allocate that out, right? 345 goes to mountaineering, 115 goes to kayaking, and 115 goes to the admin. So since 115 goes to the admin, guess what? Now we have to allocate that 115 that we just sent to the admin. Okay, So now we allocate that 115. We have 43 goes to mountaineering, 43 goes to kayaking, 29 goes to HR. So now we bring the 29 that went to HR. Now we bring that over to HR and we allocate it out of HR, right? Using the same proportions each time. And so now we see that mountaineering gets 17, kayaking gets 6, and then the admin department gets 6. So then we bring that 6 over here. I'm sorry, this looks like spaghetti. I apologize. But so now the 6 comes over here. Ultimately, HR is going to this time get a dollar fifty. So we're pretty much at zero. I guess I could do it one more time where we say, okay, you know, the admin's going to get four twentieths of a dollar fifty, but we're pretty much at zero. So I'll just leave it at that point. So you see how we basically, we go back and forth, but each time the amount that we allocate gets smaller. So now if you're wondering, well, how much ultimately got allocated to mountaineering, for example, out of the HR department? Well, what you could do is just say, okay, well, the first stage of allocate, because you can think of these as stages, right? So these are like stages of allocation. And the first stage, mountaineering got 18,000 to HR, cost and then the second stage they got 6900 and then they got 345 the next time 17 the next time right so so if we add those up we would say that mountaineering of the, uh, the HR's cost uh, they ultimately got 25262 ultimately we got 25262 and of um, kayaking they ended up getting uh, so this is HR cost right and then kayaking got 8,421 of HR costs allocated to them. And then mountaineering for the admin staff, they had 18,157.50. This was admin was allocated to them. And then we had 18,157.50 of admin allocated to the from to the kayaking division now you might be wondering something here you might be saying hey look when we add up all the costs that were ultimately allocated right when we end up all the costs we end up with a number that's bigger than hr's original costs pre-allocation right because pre-allocation let's just take a uh, hr it was thirty thousand we'll ultimately end up allocating forty two thousand one hundred and five dollars. It might be off a dollar or two from what you have due to rounding or so forth. But basically, we allocate more. We allocate a lot more than what we had pre-allocation. So you might wonder how is that even possible? Well, remember we're taking into consideration the fact that HR is getting allocated costs from the admin staff department, and conversely, uh, the admin staff department is getting costs that are allocated to them from the HR department. Right, so so it all works out in the end. But just I just didn't want you to get scared and see this and think, hey, wait, those those numbers don't add up. It's supposed to be that we end up allocating out more costs than what we have in the HR department or admin staff department pre-allocation. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this a lot more quickly using linear 